It may be that there are many sincere people who believe that causing disruption to the lives of ordinary citizens is an effective way to further their cause. I doubt the people in red can be counted as sincere, other than in their desire to spend considerable time manufacturing red garments and to exhibit themselves. Many other people, especially the young, have gone on strike to support a cause they cannot possibly understand without the years of study required. Going on strike is unlikely to further their education. But the crux of the matter is that these demonstrators truly believe that modern climate temperature is increasing at a rate which is unprecedented and thus we have a climate change crisis on our hands. This video will prove their basic premise to be incorrect according to the research of climate scientists. But what is causing this belief? There is no smoke without fire, it is said. And in this case, the smoke is provided by an array of alarming headlines. We are told that the world is in the middle of what is likely to be the warmest 10 years since records began in 1850. NASA has revealed that 2018 was officially the fourth hottest year on record. This organisation warned us that 2015 was the warmest year since modern record keeping began in 1880 and went on to say that the present climate change is one of the fastest in the past 65 million years and current warming is projected to occur at a rate 10 times faster than any change over that period. I'll come back to this in a few moments. After 2015, we find out that, in fact, 2016 is the hottest year on record, by which is meant the hottest since modern records began in 1850 and 1880. This claim turns out to be accurate. 2016 is the hottest year since 1850. This chart is constructed from Hadcroft 4 data. Having looked at some of the causes of alarm, we can now bring some perspective. These statements are just nonsense. Is the warming really going to be 10 times faster than this rise which was so abrupt that central Greenland temperatures increased by 7 degrees Celsius or more in a few decades. Ten times faster than that would be 70 degrees in a few decades. Or how about this rise of 16 degrees within several decades? We can dismiss these silly claims. Let's get back to the common belief that current rate of increase in global temperature is unprecedented. The most extreme rate of increase was 2006 to 2016, measured at 0 0.38 degrees Celsius per decade. Based on that, and on behalf of the protesters, we can put forward the hypothesis that the trend of temperature increase from 2006 to 2016 is unique, unmatched, over the past 2,000 years. That sounds a more reasonable claim. But careful analysis will show even this claim to be incorrect. It should probably be replaced with this fact that is supported by evidence. The trend of temperature increase between 2006 and 2016 is not unique 
in the context of the last 2,000 years. Based on the evidence presented, you will be asked to agree at the end of this video. To be clear, we are looking for trends over the past 2,000 years that were equal to or exceeded 0 0.38 degrees Celsius per decade. We go through each dataset and will summarize at the end. This is our first dataset. The arrow indicates the source of data. The data does not cover all the past 2000 years, but it does cover years 500 to 2006. For the period 1319 to 1329, we located a trend of 0 0.46. A trend of 0 0.39 was identified between 1352 and 1362. The next data set is a 1000 year reconstruction. It covers years 1000 to 1998. Despite the shortened period, we spotted a trend of 0 0.4 between 1647 and 1657. Much more recently, between 1839 and 1849, there was a trend of 0 0.44. This is a more comprehensive dataset. It provides data from year 1 to 1979. Very early on, between year 15 and 25, there was a trend of 0 0.55. Between 884 and 894, a trend occurred of 0 0.51. From 1479 to 1489, the trend was 0 0.65. The trend of 0 0.4 occurred 1736 to 1746. We now look at another 1500 year reconstruction. This study covers 558 to 1960. And again, despite the shortened period, several matching trends were located. From 577 to 587, there was an almost exact match of 0 0.38. A trend of 0 0.41 was traced from 831 to 841. From 1151 to 1161, a trend of 0 0.39 took place. This next study covers most of the past 2,000 years. It runs from year 0 to 1973. From 1770 to 1780, there was a trend of 0 0.43. We will now navigate back in time to three events that occurred over 30-year periods. From 1642 to 1672, a trend of 0 0.55 took place. A trend of 0 0.53 was spread from 907 to 937. And from 536 to 566, the trend was 0 0.49. We will summarize after two more studies. We now examine an almost complete 2000 year reconstruction. From the year 200 to 1995. From 545 to 555, there is a trend of 0.71. From 847 to 857, 
a trend of 0.39. From 10.37 to 10.47, a trend of 0.41 is found. A trend of 0.48 degrees Celsius per decade occurs between 1363 and 1373. From 1543 to 1553, the trend is 0 0.61. The trend is 0 0.88 for the period 1817 to 1827. This is our last study. It covers 713 to 1995. From 864 to 874, we find a trend of 0 0.69. From 951 to 961, the trend is 0.54. From 1717 to 1727, we identified a trend of 0 0.46. Finally, in quite recent times, from 1837 to 1847, there was a trend of 0.39. It is now time to summarise. We note that in each dataset we were able to identify two or more trends that matched or exceeded the trend of 0 0.38 degrees Celsius per decade that took place between 2006 and 2016. We also looked for commonality between datasets. The mid-1600s appears in two of the datasets. These periods in the 1300s appear also in two datasets. Four datasets identify trends in the mid-800s. The mid-500s is highlighted in three datasets. Interestingly, three datasets include trends in the recent 1800s. So to conclude, trends equal to or greater than that which occurred between 2006 and 2016 were consistently discovered in the data. It is likely that further research would uncover further instances. This hypothesis must therefore be discarded. It should be replaced with this assertion that is supported by evidence to the effect that the trend of temperature increase between 2006 and 2016 is not unique in the context of the last 2,000 years. We agree with this assertion.